One of the great things about Adobe Creative Suite 4 is the way that each of the components integrate with each other. For example, let's take a look at how Flash and Illustrator can work hand in hand. I have an Illustrator document open that uses multiple artboards. A new feature in CS4, multiple artboards give me, as a designer, the ability to have multiple design elements across maybe an entire campaign, all contained within a single document. I can set up multiple artboards for different uses and each of them can also have different dimensions and sizes. It's really easy to create a new document using multiple artboards. I can go to the File menu, choose New, and then from the New Document dialog box, simply specify the number of artboards I want. But I'm going to click Cancel here for a minute here because I want to show you how easy it is to manage multiple artboards within an existing file. I'll go to the toolbar and choose the Artboard tool. When I do so, I enter Artboard Edit Mode. First, take a look that each particular artboard has a number assigned to it. This number not only allows me to identify the artboards here inside of Illustrator, but as we'll see when I bring this artwork into other applications, for example like Flash, I'll be able to access those numbers as well. I could either reposition artboards around on the overall canvas, or I can just simply click and drag to create new artboards. Deleting artboards is just as simple. I'll tap the Escape key to exit Artboard Edit Mode, and I'll show you that on the bottom of the screen here, I also have the ability to jump directly to artboards, making it easy to manage the workflow directly with an Illustrator. Let's focus on this artboard here, which is artboard number three. Say I'm creating this for the web, and I want to be able to actually put this on a web page. Well, Illustrator, being a vector graphics application, has the ability to export files directly in the Flash file format, or SWIFT. I can go to the File menu, choose Export, and then from the pop-up menu here, choose Flash as my format. When I click Export, I have a range of settings that I could use to specify how that SWIFT file should be created. But I'll click Cancel here because I want to go a step further. I want to actually create an animation and I want to use the Flash application to help me get that done. Again, one of the great things about Illustrator and Flash is how well they work together. I can actually set certain things up now inside of Illustrator to make it easier for me to create those animations later on when I get into Flash. For example, if you've used Flash before, you understand the importance of creating symbols. Symbols are the lifeblood of Flash. And when you create a symbol, you can add motion and other interactivity as well. Let's say in this particular case, I want to animate this car. I want to make it look like the car is driving on the road. So what I'll do is I'll turn the car itself, the artwork that I've defined here, into a symbol. The way that you can define a symbol, both in Illustrator and in Flash, is simply to tap the F8 key on your keyboard. I'll apply a name to this. Let's call it car underscore MC. MC for movie clip. I'll specify a movie clip here. I'll leave the flash registration and the nine slice scaling set as they are, and I'll click OK. One other thing I can also do here inside of Flash is apply an instance name. In the control panel, when that particular symbol is selected, I'll apply an instance here. Let's call this one car01. Instance names are extremely helpful when you're trying to assign action script information to particular symbols. Well, my job is done here inside of Illustrator, I'm simply going to save this file. I'll go to the file menu, choose Save As. I'll call it poster art and dump that right on my desktop. Now notice I didn't export a file, I didn't export a Swift file or anything else for that matter. I simply saved a regular Illustrator file. So I'll jump over to Flash and we'll create a new Flash file here using ActionScript 3. I'll go to the file menu and choose import, import to stage. And for my desktop I'll choose the Illustrator file that I just created. Now when I import an Illustrator file, a dialog box appears asking me how I want to import that Illustrator file. First, let's take a look at this pop-up at the top of the screen. It's asking me which of the three artboards I want to import into my Flash file. Now, the one that I want to use is the third one, and notice that automatically all the information for that third artboard is selected. I could also choose to convert all my layers to Flash layers, which is important, as I'll show you in a moment. And I could also set my stage size here in Flash to match the size of that Illustrator artboard that I just selected. I'm going to click OK, and that artwork will now appear directly inside of Flash. Take a look also at my timeline and I see I have both an art layer and a car layer. What I did inside of Illustrator was I put this car on a separate layer from all the other artwork. Let me deselect this for a second here. I just want to show you if I go to my library, you can see that I have inside the Illustrator Symbols folder the car underscore MC symbol which I created inside of Illustrator now here inside of Flash. Additionally, by going back to the Properties panel, if I click on the car itself, I see that the instance name, car underscore zero one, as I named it inside of Illustrator, has also been preserved and now is here inside of Flash as well. So let's talk about creating this animation. I'll deselect what I have right now selected on my stage. I'll go to the art layer and I'll come out to about frame 24 and I'll right click and what I will do is I will insert a keyframe here. This extends the animation for one second. Notice here on my timeline, it's set to 24 frames per second. So 24 frames gives me a one second animation. I'm going to move my playhead back over here. Let's take a look at the car layer right now. 
I have this car selected and I want to create this animation of the car driving along that road. Well, it's very easy now to create animation inside of Flash using the new object-based animation model. I'll right-click on the car itself and choose Create Motion Tween. Notice what happened here in the timeline. An animation span, or a tween, was automatically created for me, and the playhead was moved towards the end. All I have to do right now, let me deselect what I have here, and just simply move the car to where I want the car to be. I'll scale this up to be a little bit bigger to make it look like it's coming right out at you, and I'll simply tap the Enter key to play that animation. So now, just in a few quick steps, starting off inside of Illustrator, using multiple artboards, creating a symbol, I'm able to bring that artwork right into Flash, and again, with just an extra few clicks here inside of Flash, create a really cool animation.